hello guys i have got ipad here which is um, dead not charging and um, see if you put this here as you can see it's uh, to me it looks like it's um, short on uh, VDD main by looking at these readings and we tried with the known good battery and it's still it's not turning on that is uh, making me believe um, it's uh, short on the board and um, let's check what could be wrong with it so it's been to somewhere before and um, as you can see and they have already opened it this is how we received it and um, not turning on at all not charging and um, let's find out okay take it out put it here and the next thing is check it um, charging port not been replaced okay and we did main on these ipad here usually if there is a short you can find um, on vdd main around wi-fi but first of all let's just see yep looks okay to me Okay, open up the shield. <coughs> Board is pretty clean. It's a little bit of don't know where it came from sort of fluxy mark okay nothing so the next thing is just randomly check these are the usually which oh can you see yeah let's move a little bit here now yep okay so i check because and in continuity mode because i don't have to you know look at the multimeter each time but if it beeps you have to look at the multimeter what the resistance value is and this i can see both resistance value is quite low where it should not be that low here okay let's check board layout okay so this is um, ipad air one 
Okay, let's check uh, what these uh, capacitors are. Okay, it's uh, these ones here. All right. So this is also, of course, connected with Wi-Fi module. And then it's also U8100. Hmm, that is bit. Okay, and on these. So let's check these as well. Okay. The area looks clean. So in these circumstances, let's try um, thermal camera. Maybe we can find somewhere which is heating up. Okay, guys. So this is here now. Finding the charger. Whoa, you see here? Okay, this is component here which is heating up. Let's see what it is because uh, without not looking at it, we cannot go, we cannot say if this is the part. Anyway, so let's. So we have got the heat point, which is, uh, let me disconnect the battery because I don't want this to be remain connected when there is a part which is heating up. Okay. So the part which was showing me here these two capacitors and they are in the same <coughs> line as you can see uh, I will and they are in the same line as you can see which is shorted these two so come back here now just by looking at it I can clearly see this one is discolored see this is what the normal color of all the capacitors are and this one is looks like it's this is the guy let's just take it out okay there you go And now check if we what we have got. <coughs> we still have the line shorted. No, it's not. And is this the guy? Yep. Ah, okay. So most probably we found. Um, the faulty component now we will check if it's charging fine uh, let's put it straight away where is the screw which I have taken out yep there's the one okay let's put you here move this Okay, now plug in the charger. As you can see, it's charging normally now. Come on, come on, hurry up. Okay. Yep. Can you see this? So it's charging normally. When the battery was flat, it, it will go close to one amp soon. 
now we will uh, put the LCD and check if it's uh, turning on. Okay. All right, and uh, the screw is there. Turn it on. Yep, all good. Let it boot it up normally and it's taking a bit long, maybe turning on after months. Come on, man, boot up. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. For um, uh, more videos, um, like and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.